I've never seen that young lady in my life before. And I've lived here 50 years. Yeah. Six o'clock, John. I'm up, love. I've never seen that young lady in my life before, and I've lived here 50 years. Stopwatch. Can't find my stopwatch. Have you washed your neck this morning? Hey. Oh, You'll go back to sleep then, Nancy. Nancy. Mm -hmm. You'll go back to sleep. Mm. Good luck then. Thanks, I'll need it. I say thanks. I'll need it. You'll be very good. You can only do your best. Would you like to test me again with my words? It's all right. I, I think I've mastered it. So it'll be too soon. I once worked with the director in Portugal. He had Guinness in his porridge at breakfast. This was Campari. Always had his hand in his trouser pocket. <laughs> Morning. 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 All right, Jean, this morning. Hey. I first got the Guardian. Oh, buggeration. Crossword? Yeah. Sort you my telegram. Bob. Deirdre! Extras! Top. Morning. Bye, I'll have to mind you, bye. What will have known today, thanks all the same. Drama, TV play. Has it got to be getting middle and end? I speak in this one. Never bloody do, I'm doozy. Character parts, lines and everything. Mm, bye, yeah. I'll let you know when it's on. Ah, oh, well, I don't forget. What do you reckon? Feasible? Up to you. We'll do it your way then. Yes? I've just said. <laughs> I know. I know. Sheila Lomax. Sheila. Frida Pennington. Yeah, Cocker. Brian Clegg. As ever, sunshine. Mabel Stevens. Yeah. Mabel, are you down for second gospel and housewife? No one said. I should imagine I'm down for first gospel and housewife, in all probability. Parts will be allocated on arrival at the location. I happen to know what I was auditioned for, dear. Harold Danby. Joseph McGill. Joe. Yeah, Harold Danby. Sorry. Sorry. Leeds United. Pardon? Were you on Leeds United? Play for today? No. At Lombago. Uh, confusing you with some other party. I was asked. At Lombago. Hey, 
you don't want me to zoom? No, thanks. Give me a few grey hairs if you did. I don't. Well, I'm not Yuri Geller. If you want me to zoom right down to... No, I don't. You're saying if you did. No, well, I don't. Jesus. We haven't got the zoom till today. What day is it today? Wednesday, whole day. Fine. OK, fair enough. No panic. Just take my point, though. Hmm? My own fault, mind you. Should have stayed on Bacardi and Baby Sham. You OK? Still feeling... Is it because of... <gasps> Went to see Murder on the Orient Express last night. Good. Some bloody comedian nicked my fishing rod out of the boot of my car. The trick is to think yourself warm, i.e. it is a warm day. I am consequently extremely warm. God, it's cold. If it'll save you a job and help you to choose, Mrs. Stevens and I are excellent at first and second gossip and housewife. We did it in country matters five times. Like winter, isn't it? It is winter. <clears throat> I fell asleep putting my pants on this morning. Sat on the edge of the bed to pull on my pants, and the next thing I knew, I was. Is it any cop? What? Murder on the Orient Express. Cost me over 30 quid, that fishing tackle. You can claim? Oh, claim? Ready, Phil? Right. Quick run through for Don. And me. And him. It's Bernard dropping Betty off at the gate and the extra walking part. Old Man in Street. Yeah, yeah. Deirdre! Old Man in Street! Mr. McGill, please. Your arm. Now? Please. He's a speaking extra. He's got 16 words. Mm. I was with him on Family at War. We had to shout, here, here. He was on average. Thank you. <laughs> See you Tuesday. Saturday. Saturday. Is that it? <laughs> All right, that'll do it first thing in the morning. Come on, let's get <laughs> Bernard, I cannot hear a word you're saying. I'm sorry. Thank you. Don't do the line. See you Tuesday. Saturday. Thank you. Saturday. Thank you. So, we're just on YouTube saying blah, blah, blah. Do you want us to go through it? It'd be good for me. Oh, well, terrific. We're only three days behind. We'll only end up on the dole. Yes, please, Ben. Action! Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. What for? See you... Saturday. Saturday. Is that it? Old man in the street. Oh, hell! Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, there's more. Um, sorry, old man in street comes to... Where is the old fuck? Deirdre, we're waiting! Here? Oh. Me? Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Right. Um, 
You stand over there, mister. Mister? Uh, Miguel. Joe Miguel. Right, Joe. You start from over there. Good morning. Good morning. You start from over there and you walk towards the car. It's a pleasure to have the pleasure of working with you. Thank you. You walk towards the car and as soon as she goes in, you do your dialogue with Bernard, right? Yes, Mr. Shaw. Off Jean. you go, then. Pardon? Walk. Walk towards the car. In you go, sweetheart. Have the cameras going? No, it's a rehearsal. Oh, fair enough. Good morning to you, sir. Morning. It's a pleasure to have the privilege of working with you. And action! I've never seen that young lady in my life before, and I've lived here 50 years. I speak first, don't I? Hmm? Don't I? Oh, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, after he speaks. Compre? Sorry. Again, then. Action. Pretty girl, eh, Grandad, your village school mistress? I've never seen that young lady in my life before, and I've lived here 50 years. Was that all right for interpretation? Then he sobs off. Walk past. And we tighten on Bernard for his reaction, OK? OK. Wait there, Bernard, please. Now. OK. Pardon? OK for me, too. Oh, good. Um, right, mate, we're doing it. Let joy be unconfined. OK, oh. girls, this is it. Chop, chop. What sort of play? For the deli. Uh, is it, uh, what do you call it? Upstairs, downstairs? Yes. No. Sorry, mate. I've seen him before. He's been in something. According to the TV Times, his pet hates are man's inhumanity to man and gardening. Every man to his trade, eh? Back to working for a living. Aye. See that half-dead one over there? Aye. He's in charge. Fancies himself, does he? Oh, he thinks he's God. Let there be light. Right, here we go. Right, nice. Nice and bright, everyone. Absolute quiet everywhere, please. I think I saw in the paper she's got a new nose. I hate to think what her first one looked like. <laughs> please, ladies, very quiet. Oh, whoops, that were me. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Turn over. It's our running. Mark it. Hang about. You're just in, Colin. Is that better? Wonderful. Mark it. Hang about. There's a foreign body in Bernard's trousers. I should be so lucky. Bernard, what's in your trousers? Just the Guardian. Still running. Don. Yeah. Two, four, one, take one. OK, Don. Action! Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. What for? See you Saturday. Pretty girl, eh, Grandad? Your village school mistress. I've never Cut! seen. Cut! Cut it. Um. Jimmy? Sorry? Jimmy, is it? Joe. Joe Miguel. Old man in the street. Joe. I had a very unhappy childhood. I'd now like it to end. Where the hell are you going? A Buckingham Palace garden party? No. From there to here. Terry! Why has he come as a Fortnum and Mason Christmas cake? Shit. Jean! Act one, scene one, page one, line one. A village street in 1940. Not, you notice, Carnaby Street in 1975. It's all right, love. It's not important. An old jacket and a cloth cap will do. I'll get them, I'll get them. I like to keep sodding busy. I wasn't told about clothes. <laughs> all right. We're going again. Stand by. Absolute quiet, everyone, now, please. Thank you, ladies. I never opened my mouth. 
I got enough of that at home. Shh. Turn over. Sound running. Camera. OK. Mark it. Two, four, one, take two. Well, thanks, thanks for it. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good, it fell. Oh. What's wrong? Listen. What to? Aircraft. Where have we cut a what? What do you mean, aircraft? Like big iron bird from great land in sky. Well, I know I'm clogged up with Qatar. Listen. Okay. Stand by to go again as soon as he's gone. Boeing 707. Pan Am or Aer Lingus? Lufthansa. All right, mate. But I'm only doing my job. Fine. Okay. I was only joking. So was I. OK, then. OK. Lots of fun, really. No bones built. Relieves the tension. Again, Terry. Going for a take! Stand by! And quiet everywhere! It doesn't mean us this time. Quiet! Turn over. So I'm running. Come. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Mark it. Two, four, one, take three. And Hang on. Out oh, too quick, Jeff. Give it me again. Are we still running? One second, sweetheart. Have we cut? One second. Two, four, one, take three, sink the second clap. And... Action! Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. Sorry, Phil. What? No good. Cut? There was a cable in shot, my hand slipped, and she got the line wrong. She got the line right? Well, there was a cable in shot, and my hand slipped. Cut. Cut, everyone! Cut it! Cut! Cut it! Bloody cut! Cut it! Cut! Jesus! How else to we? We can't have everything we want in life, you know. OK, settle down, everyone. We're doing terrific. OK, Don? Yeah? Stand by! Quiet, everyone! Well, can I just see to bet his hairpiece as the girl keeps falling yeah. down? It's nice. I like it. It's all the rage. Turn over! Start running. Camera. Mark it! Hold on. Are we expecting hovercraft? Can't be breakfast time. Dead on. It'll wait two minutes. Oh, they won't. Great. Breakfast, everyone. Ten minutes, absolute maximum. Nine at the most. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Egg back, egg and bacon back, hamburger back. Yes, please. Smart sauce, brown sauce or onions. Yes, please. Cheer coffee. Either. Both taste like bloody cocoa. One of the hazards of the job, eh, Phil, Mr Shaw? Hmm? Technically hitches, aeroplanes so far. What about it? I was just saying, it's, it's one of the hazards of the job. Um, um, profession. Terry! Egg pack, egg and bacon, that hamburger back. Even more amenable after breakfast. I'll tell him we've been playing first and second gospel housewives ever since Zed Car. Ever since Zed Car. I'll tell him. <laughs> Cup of tea, please. 
so much as look a fried egg in the face. Is this something to do with you? Or is it? Still, you're not more cheerful than yesterday, aren't you? <laughs> Provides a conducted tour of the Globe Theatre, question mark, two words. How many letters? Four and five. Roundhouse. Roundhouse. Tour, Globe, Round Globe Theatre. Roundhouse. <laughs> Can. Lights getting dodgy. Even faster. Right. Quiet everywhere. And turn over. Now running. Gone. Getting darker. Mark it. Two, four, one, six, four. It's not that bad, Don. I refuse to shoot it. Just refuse. I'm sorry. I refuse. Cut. Cut! What do you think of the story so far? Be lovely for fishing. Great stock play. Decent pun that, eh? Play. Signifying TV play. Be good in your crossword. Roundhouse was wrong. It's supposed to be four and five. That's five and five. Mm -hmm. All right. Agreed there. Yeah. Elbow. We do the church interior. Right. Everyone that's needed for C23, the church interior. Our team tune it in the rest of the East congregation. Go as fast as you can. I expect we'll do my scene when the weather books up. That'll be it. Can I come and watch me scene that I'm not in it? Sorry, we'd be like sardines and tomato. Fair enough. All right for a cup of tea, Colonel. Just looking up. Oh. Fair enough. Are you having a tantrum? Pins and needles. Circulation. I've got chill blades on the other bugger. Circulation. Terry? They're not right at all. First gossiping housewife and second gossiping housewife, they're not real enough. They look too much like extras. They're not them. They're two housewives who happen to be gossiping. They're the extras. Yes, well, as long as they look real. Which two do you want? Any. Two at the front. Deirdre, the two at the front. First and second gossiping housewives. Official. Can I have your autograph, please? Will you make it out to Deborah? Two, Deb, the, the show must go on Joe Miguel. Thanks. Sure. Bye, love. 
Old Man in the Street was played by Joe McGill. Joe McGill is a national theatre player. Joe McGill is a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company. Joe McGill appears by kind permission of the English Stage Company. Joe McGill is appearing in Sleuth at the Fortune Theatre London. I've never seen that young lady in my life before, and I've lived... Deborah, your biro! Deborah, who? Your pen, love! Oh, well, thanks a bloody bundle, mate. We're in the middle of a take. You've ruined a take. Hello, Nancy. It's me. Lunch bread. Steak, kidney pie, runner beans, and mashed. A bit stingy on the pie. Oh, very well indeed. It'll be a cracking little scene when we've done it. No, not yet. Technical hitches behind our control. It could be too soon. Or steak and kidney pie, you pinhead. Or steak and kidney pie. Are you all right, Jean? You wanted me to tell them that little tale about Hello, the devil. Did they? Did they? Anyway, I told them nothing about success as well. <laughs> that would mean fully as good. Just a minute, Nancy. I think I'm wanted. Yes, Colonel. Finger out, please. I've got to ring the office urgently. I've got to go, love. Yes, for me close-ups. Oh, oh, several I expect. I'll see you tonight. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It was a business call. BBC. Mm, good day. Thinking. It's getting lighter. We can polish off shot 241. Uh, yes, that's what I was thinking. Francie! Is there anyone I should know? Production manager, Ronnie Skidmore. Morning. Evening. Finished? Must have done. Not yet. We've done the church interior. And this? Not yet. None of it? Not yet. He must have done the master shot. Tell him, not yet. I can't say it again. My brain's chapped. Well, what the hell have you been doing? Sunbathing. We've had our problems. Well, you've only got six days left. You'll never finish it. We'll finish it. We'll finish it. Anyway, see you. And he came to give you encouragement. Well, aren't you staying for a bit? Sorry, my holidays aren't till August. Right, everyone. I want this scene doing so fast, your backsides will be a blur. Sorry, Betty. What for? Settle down, everyone. We're doing it this time. Straight through, no messing, no mistakes, no booms in shot, no bowings. Absolute quiet. And turn over. Sound running. Speed. Gone. OK. Mark it. Two, four, one, take, take five. Two, four, one, take five. And action. Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. What for? See you Saturday.
Pretty girl, eh, Grandad? Your village schoolmistress? I've never seen that young lady in my life before. And I've lived here 50 years. And... Cut! Terrific! Well done, everyone! Great! Uh, good one done. Take him again. Oh, great! <laughs> Terrific! Get down a OK, on to the club. On, on, on! That was good for me. It was good for Sam. Oh, fine, fine. Three choruses of hallelujah, everybody, and a gross of Mars bar. <laughs> Hang on. Well, that's life, isn't it? What is? Hair. Where? Hair in the gate. Hair in the gate. Hair in the gate. Show business. The shot's no good. Not with the head in the gate. Head in the gate, it's like a bit of fluff behind the lens. That's what it means. I know what it means. Still, we've done it perfect once. We can do it again. Are we downhearted? Stand by, everyone. So good. We're going again. God. Oh, got it. I thought that you time... want to try fishing, pal? Quiet everywhere. And turn over. Sounds running. On speed. Done. OK. Mark it. Two, four, one, take six. Oh, sorry. My mind. Cut! No, sorry. Action! No, sorry. Yes, that's right. Action! Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. No, no. What the hell is it? An earthquake, the end of the world. What the hell are they doing out at this time? You think they would Arthur, be Arthur, Graham, get them back. Barricade is off at the corner. Oh, please, now, please, lads. Come on, we've we got a lot of work to do now, so if you don't mind, can, can, you, just, can you just get back up? Come on, Nation Street! Hey, Gina! Oh, BBC and ITV! ITV! No! Please! Yeah. But come now, sod off! Just bugger off, the lot of you! Go on, bugger off! That's him! Now, Over move! There. So, consequently, I had to have short hair for crossroads on the Wednesday. I haven't done a crossroads yet. Don't know why. Long hair for a commercial on the Thursday. I've been up for three commercials and I didn't get any of them. And ball for the beeb on the Friday. Leeds United, that was. I had to shout, Give us the bomb! I've never worked for the BBC. I don't know what I've done to offend them. Okay. Stand by. Quiet everywhere. Turn over. So I'm running. John. Yeah. Two, four, one, take 12. 13. Sorry. 13. Two, four, one, take 13. Action. Action, Betty. I'm sorry, I can't remember my line. 
silly, isn't it? But I can't. Well, thanks for the lift. Oh, yes. You're um, something. Action! Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. What for? See you Saturday. Pretty girl, eh, Grandad? Your village school mistress. I've never seen the young lady in my again, life. Again, Jimmy. Say it again. Don't stress the word young. Keep running. Go on, Jimmy. I've never seen the young lady in my life. Don't before. stress young. You sound as though you have seen the old lady before, and there isn't one. Again. I've I've never seen. I've never. I've never seen the young lady in my life before. I've never seen the young lady in my life before. I've never seen the young lady in my life before. Life before. Emphasize life. I've never seen the young lady in my life before. Again! I've never seen the young lady in my life. No, not in. In my life before. Again! I've never seen. I've, ne I've never seen the. I've never in my lady seen life before. No, no. Never have I seen young lady. lady. No, I, I've never seen. Cut. Again. I've never seen the young lady in my life before, and I. And I've lived here 50 years. And cut. Big man, don't Big man, don't Jesus! God, it's cold. Is that okay if the camera done? Fine for me. And me. In the can, then. I've done it. Should we send up for Bernard's close ups then? Um, are we printing that one, are we? Take 13. The most crucial scene in the play. What was your name again? Joe. Joe McGill. That, Mr. McGill, was the most appalling, disgusting, Terrible performance in the annals of acting history. Congratulations. Yes, sir. I wasn't entirely satisfied with my delivery, really. Weren't you? Not entirely. A bit wooden. Incomprehensible. And the worst bloody mess I've seen in my bloody life! And I feel as though I've lived here 50 sodding years! Never again. We could uh, move on to Bernard's close up soon. Another day. We'll virtually set up. We could do it in two minutes. Tomorrow. We'll do interior of school. Bernard calling for Betty on the Saturday. OK, everyone, that's uh, scene 55, interior of school. Let's change your costume for Bernard and Betty. Go on, fast as you can. If you don't break a leg, you're not trying. 
Bill. Mr. Shaw, sir. Excuse me for interrupting you. Yes, Mr. McGill? Could we give it another go? I've read the play and the scenes of prime importance to the understanding of it. Why didn't you get it right, then? Well, we've been doing it over for hours and hours. That's what you're paid for. But we're not machines, we're not cameras. You had two lines to do, Mr. McGill. Two! And you couldn't. It was a 13th take. That's all the more reason! I did the others all right. One or two of them were your. Well, not your. Do you know why you couldn't, Mr. McGill? Because you're no bloody good. And that's why you're an extra. A stupid, lousy extra. A lousy, bloody extra, you stupid old bugger. You don't know that I'm stupid? No good at anything. You've only really met me today. I might be very good for all you know. I might be a very interesting person. I might have been acting long before you were born. Mr. McGill, you had one important thing to do, and you couldn't. That's not real life, lad. That's pretend. We're all pretending. You're pretending. The whole damn fool place pretending. Real life is how well you pretend, isn't it, sir? You, me, everybody in the world. Well, we'll perhaps try and find the decent bits from what you did and put them together. No one will know. It'll be all right all the night. So what do you reckon to it, then? To what? Murder on the Orient Express. Have you seen it? Not yet. I went last night. Quick as you can, Peter, to the bus. Ready when you are, Mr. McGill! Fair enough, love. A two letter word beginning with X, there's no such thing. Are you sure the X is right? No. Just like to say cheerio to everyone. Bye bye, Mr. McGill. It's been a pleasure working with you. An experience. Excuse me. Yes. Just like to say goodbye and good luck. Oh, Bye, Mr. McGill. That man with our Perhaps it won't look as bad as we thought when it's all put together. Oh no, no, it'll look alright. Not too bad at all, I shouldn't think. It was okay for me. Yeah. Pardon? It was good for sound. Oh really? Oh good. That's half the battle, isn't it? I suppose it is really. Just, just like to bid a. Farewell to Phil, to, to Phil and Dan. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, a bit cramped in there at the moment. They're sitting up. I just wanted to thank him. Uh, not to worry. I'll drop him a line. Right. Would you say yeah. good luck for the rest of the filming from me? Sure. Mm. Right. Kids are coming at yeah. Right. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Fair, Fair enough. I'll say so long then. Oh yes. And thank you for your efficiency and courtesy. Oh, yes. 
I think it'll be passable in the end. The weather? Shot 241. Oh, it'll be passable. They usually are. Ah, well then. Thank you again to you and your colleagues. Hi -oh. Stand by and quiet everyone and turn over. Sound running. Oh. Okay. Two, four, two, take one. It went pretty good, the scene in the church. My scene went very well. We had a bit of technical trouble, but it was a little cracker at the end. Action! Will you? Yes. It will be a little cracker when they've tarted it up in the editing. It's amazing what they can do. I think they'll be highly surprised when they've, you know, tarted it up. Cut! <sighs> bit under the armpit, was it? What's for me? Print it. OK, thanks, everyone. Smashing. OK, it's a wrap, everyone. Home time. Another day tomorrow. Children, you get there. No, you coming back with us, Deirdre? Yeah, I think Colin's giving me a lift. I think he intends making a dishonest woman of me. Yes, OK, then. Do I smell kippers? You do. Good girl. Warm in here, love. Well, how did it go? Three guesses. No, I am pleased. So were they. We had a touch of double-double toil and trouble, but we got it all right in the end. I've never seen that young lady in my life before, and I've lived here 50 years. Bingo. I don't know how you do it. You just do. Did you ever get 14 across? No. I think it's an anagram. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'm going to cut the old man in the street scene completely. Scrub it all together. I thought you said it was crucial. We'll put the same information in another scene. In reported speech. No old man. Isn't it the writer's intention to, uh, um, Whose intention? The writer's. What's he got to do with the writer? Well, he wrote it. You had a nice day, then? Well, it's a fellow's life, his job. That's the old man, Joe. We'll find out when it's on. We'll go round to our gardens and watch it on colour. I may go and see the sting on Saturday. I thought you said you were going fishing. Hmm. I get sick of fishing. There's nothing at the end of it all, is there? Not a lot. At the end of what?